Regenerative Human Progress. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 80. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Gene Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 80, September 12, 2014 edition. As always, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content uh, that I'll be sharing with you via pictures and video in this update, visit our written blog. Lots more details there. And of course, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes California state education standards. This week, the core team, which consists of the Satellite and Pioneer members, finished the first 25% of the Signs Lesson Plan Mind Map, which you can see here. The lesson plan for this is complete behind the scenes and will teach all subjects to all learning levels in the context of signs and symbolism. For an example of what's coming, we also finished the final 60% of the Harmony Lesson Plan web page. And you can see this here and complete on the site. This page, like all our finished lesson plans, can be used right now by anyone in any teaching environment to teach any subject to any learning level, in this case, within the context of Harmony. Behind the scenes, we also finished 30% of the lesson plan design with the central theme of recreation. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on High Good Food finished adding the six featured asparagus you see here. Uh, these have been added to the large scale gardening page, and that page now also includes purchasing details, cultural considerations, and planting guidelines, not only for these, but well over 400 other food plants and more than 200 of which we've featured with complete details like the asparagus that you see here in the background. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing finished the final 30% of the Earthbag Construction Footers Foundation and Flooring Tutorial page that you can see here in the background. This is part of preparation for our upcoming crowdfunding campaign. And it is also the first fully outlined and completed example with video placeholders for the comprehensiveness and detail we are committed to providing with our open source creative process. Related to this and behind the scenes, we've also finished another 70% of the electrical details page uh, that will eventually look just like the one that you see here in the background, bringing us to 80% done there. And we updated our main crowdfunding page uh, with an outline of all the other pages to come, including this, uh, uh, the electrical page, details page that you see, and uh, of course the Footers Foundation and Flooring Tutorials page. 
We also switched the laundry room and kitchen dome from the 150 square foot dome to the 200 square foot dome and created the two layouts you see developing here. And last but not least, we also finished the measurements and parts details for the bed component of the Murphy Bed Dome Home Furniture Design. I misreported last week that we were done with all of the Murphy Bed measurements and parts and we still had this one that needed to be redone due to an error we discovered in the part uh, or in this part of the design. All this work, of course, is taking the custom furniture designs of Philip Gill for the completed Earthbag Village domes and finalizing two of them for the Dome Home crowdfunding campaign so we can open source two homes complete with all furniture. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week the core team updated the complete duplicable city center 3D SketchUp file to match the CAD floor plan. Uh, that CAD floor plan was updated over the last few weeks, compliments Carl Harris of Cage Designs, and so our updates meant adding in uh, Carl's boiler room and updating all four floors surrounding the elevator that needed to be expanded. We also finished the first 20% of the property-wide hydronic setup details that you can see here, and uh, we did another complete overhaul of the energy plan phase-in process, starting with 20 people and working up to 400 plus people. The overhaul of the energy process also included this assessment of energy storage options, showing the relationship of time needed to store energy, which is on the left, to kilowatt hours needing to be stored. And what we're assessing is what options would be viable as your needs increase. For our first 400 people, it appears batteries remain our best bet. Behind the scenes, James Nance, P2S Engineering, finished about 50% of the work and research needed to see if integrating a heat recovery unit into our dryer, our laundry dryer exhaust, will make sense. Um, so far, it looks like it is, and this is a picture of one of the fan components we're evaluating as part of that possible system. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week the core team completely updated and simplified our policies and procedures in relation to accountability. This is after two weeks of team discussion and adaptation reflecting on over a year and a half of experience with current system. The update included increasing the minimum weekly tangible contribution for pioneers from four hours to five and streamlining and simplifying our accountability and consequences process for not contributing the minimum time and or missing mandatory weekly team calls. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community is about facilitating regenerative human progress. And for us, we divide this into two different categories. The first category is physical sustainability, which is like food, energy, housing. And the second category is emotional sustainability. Highest good education, highest good economic models, for-profit and non-profit business models, highest good recreation, as well as true earth stewardship. Putting these both together, we're evolving sustainability with the idea that we can create sustainable and self-sufficient teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities to be built around the world that are not only regenerative on the global scale, because they give more than they take, because they're self-sufficient, but they're also regenerative on the individual level. Helping people to, to grow and evolve and have more free time to be able to contribute and give back to the world in ways that are positive. The idea is that if we can create a self-sufficient environment 
that is enriching. It's a culture of pro personal growth that fully and completely provides for all of the needs of all of its inhabitants. We believe that human nature is such that it will want to help others, that it will want to give back, that it will want to make a difference, that it will want to share the experience. And so the entire model of one community is designed around that. And this is ultimately what it is that we're open sourcing. When we say that we're open sourcing this idea of regenerative human progress. What we want to open source is a solution model that creates additional solution creating models and a model specifically designed to share itself where the entire environment is open source and free shared from the food the energy the housing that i already mentioned to the for-profit non-profit business models to the open source education model to the open source recreation model to the true earth stewardship model for how to take care of the land and everything surrounding it to give back to the community all of those aspects combined together into one complete comprehensive model designed to make people happy to provide an environment that people like being in to provide an environment that people like to be a part of and to provide an environment that gives enough that supplies enough that supports enough that people feel comfortable giving and supporting others too. This is an idea that can change the world. And this is why we talk about making the idea self-replicating. And we know that if we can build a prototype that is easy enough, it's affordable enough, and demonstrate everything that we're talking about as attractive enough because it meets those foundational needs and then meets those deeper social and societal needs also. If we can demonstrate that, this idea will become self-replicating because it provides value. This is what we're all about. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if you'd like to get into regenerative human progress too, if you'd like to participate in this in any way, shape, or form, we have lots of ways to do that. We are building a team. We're bringing together the makers. We're bringing together the creators. We're bringing together the connectors, the architects, the engineers of the future, the people that realize that the best way to predict the future is created. And we're doing that right now. Everything that we're designing and open sourcing and free sharing, this whole creative process right now is a collaboration of nonprofit, unpaid volunteers, self included, that are doing this because we know that we can be the change that we want to see in the world, that we can create a difference, and so we're doing that. And we're open source and free sharing it so other people, if they feel that they can do it better, if they feel that it should be done differently, if they feel that they'd like to see some part of it evolved in a different direction, can do that too. This is our idea of open source sharing. This is our idea of taking everything and giving it away as a path to increasing participation in what we call highest good living. Thinking and creating for the highest good of all life on this planet with a global mentality saying, okay, how can we help the most people? And the foundation of that is this open source that we're talking about. And so by giving it away and free sharing it all, we realize that we're creating something for everyone in a do-it-yourself, replicable manner so that people can adapt it and change it and make it what they want. So if you'd like to get involved, there's lots of ways to do that. We have uh, opportunities to join our team as pioneer members, the people that will move onto the property and actually build one community as satellite members, which are the people that work with us behind the scenes on all of our calls and participate in every level of one community but don't intend to move to the property, or as consultants and partners which are the people that are donating their time, contributing their expertise to helping make everything better and participating in that capacity. So, and of course, if you want to help out, also just by sharing our information is a huge help. We're still seeking large-scale funding, and uh, the next big, huge step for one community would be to get the property off the market. And so we're looking for that individual or that group that would like to invest in one community or would like to donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization as a tax deductible donation to take that property off the market so we can share that location and expand our team exponentially uh, by legitimizing our product project at that level. We put tens of thousands of hours and as I said they're all unpaid volunteer hours into this project and so being able to take the property and share those details, the property that we've been working with now for almost four years to put that information out and be able to disclose the location would be a massive step in the right direction for our project. And so, of course, if you're a connector, if you're somebody who knows somebody, even if you don't know that person or you don't think that you know that person that could really uh, take that property off the market for us, uh, if you're somebody that just knows a lot of people, we're on all the social media networks. And then we have our blog and we have our immense website that is growing literally every single day. 
it's getting bigger and more comprehensive with more information because our team is working on it constantly. And so just sharing our information, putting it out there, sharing it through Pinterest, sharing it through Facebook, sharing it through Reddit, sharing it through Tumblr, sharing it through LinkedIn, sharing it through Twitter, sharing it through Facebook. We are on all the social media networks to make it as easy as possible because we know that when the right person sees what it is that we're doing, the people that get what it is that we're creating and understand the magnitude and the global transformation potential, the ability to positively and permanently transform this world for everyone. We know that when the people that are meant to see this project and understand what it is that we are doing see it, then the time will be right. And we'll take this project to the next level. And so for everybody that shares our project, for everybody, for all the small donations that help us pay for our website fees and our hosting fees and all the little things that we need to pay for to keep one community operating, uh, we say thank you. And to everybody that follows our progress, we say thank you. If you'd like to follow our progress uh, more, please subscribe to this channel or send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll put you on our email list. And as always, until next week, we will continue this regenerative human progress creation process, facilitating the regenerative human progress uh, movement, I guess you could say, and building the open source blueprints for specifically creating that. So until next week, uh, thank you as always, and we will keep on keeping on. Thanks.